This informative construction film shows how various civil engineering projects were constructed and is an innovative way of sharing knowledge gained in the workplace. The film contains photographs, footage and infographics. Project activities covered include earthworks, reinforcement cutting and bending yard operation, concrete airport slabs, post-tensioning bridge deck, asphalt batching yard, roof covering, high-voltage cable laying, fencing and accommodation camp operation. Earthworks includes excavation, trenches, haulage, grading, backfilling, filling and compaction. Reinforcement Cutting and Bending Yard The on-site reinforcement yard produces steel reinforcement bars to the required lengths and bent shapes for use in reinforced concrete structures. The reinforcement bars processed vary in sizes from 12 mm to 40 mm in diameter with a maximum length of 12 m. Cutting and bending is carried out on three-phase electrically driven machines, which are operated manually. The measurements and consistency in the bending bars is performed accurately. The reinforcement is cut and bent within the tolerances. For cut lengths, the 12-meter stock lengths are firstly placed on the cutting benches where they are marked and fed manually into the shearing machine. Concrete Airport Slabs by Slip Form The process consists of placing and spreading low slump concrete on the ground in front of a paver that slips over the concrete and extrudes the concrete as strips of slabs. Vibrators fixed along the front of the paver consolidate and fluidize the concrete. The concrete is then shaped by passing between the vertical side forms and underside of the horizontal profile pan as the paver moves forward. Finally the top surface is brushed to provide a texture. Curing agent is sprayed to the top and side surfaces. Concrete strips of slabs, also known as lanes, were paved to a hit and miss lane pattern. The hit lanes, also known as pilot lanes, were slip formed first with the infill lanes completed later, after a minimum of 14 days to avoid damaging the pilot lane concrete. Timber stop ends were used at the start and finish of the lanes and where the operation stopped unexpectedly. Post-tensioning of bridge deck The post-tensioning of bridge deck operation Include the fixing of the ducts and anchorages prior to concreting, the strand threading, stressing and grouting after concreting. Each strand is threaded into the duct one by one. The strand is fed into the strand pushing machine from a coil of strand contained on a real trolley. The stand size is 15.7 mm diameter and consists of 7 wires with a total tensile strength of 1860 MPa. The tensioning is executed using two multi-strand jacks one at each end of the deck. 
following the regulations in jack force. The stressing requires the simultaneous reading of pressure and elongation. The control of the pressure and elongation results is done by checking the comparison between these values and the theoretical ones. The grouting of tendon ducts is executed using a colloidal cement mortar. The grout is pumped until the tendon duct is filled. Asphalt batching yard. Hot polymer modified bitumen is mixed with the heated aggregates in the two on site asphalt batching plants. The type of asphalt plants are known as batch asphalt plants, and the major components are the aggregate cold bins and feed system, aggregate dryer, mixing tower, emission control system bitumen storage tanks and supply system and the asphalt storage bins and truck loading system. The temperature of the asphalt mixture is in the 160 to 180 degrees Celsius range when produced. Prior to starting paving all the materials were pre-tested and a site trial was carried out to familiarize the crew with the equipment and the characteristics of the particular asphalt mix and to ensure that the workmanship, as well as ensuring the material, complies with the specification requirements. Roof Covering The Construction Sequence Step 1. Install bottom sheets and gutters. Step 2. Generally after 50% of the roof is covered by the bottom sheet start the vapor barrier, insulation and top sheet. Step 3. Fix the flashings to gables, eaves and ridges. Drill and fix flashings and the roof penetrations. Following bottom sheet installation, and whilst the gutters are being fixed, the top sheet clips will be installed. The vapor barrier will be rolled out in advance of the clips, and the clips located using the fixings. The clips will hold the vapor barrier in place. All vapor barrier laps will be sealed with butyl tape. Once a substantial area of clips and vapor barrier has been installed and inspected, the insulation and top sheet can commence. The top sheet will be manufactured on site from coils using a roll forming machines that is contained in a 40 foot long ship's container. The roll forming machine will be located beside the buildings at ground level. The top sheets will be rolled and cut to length and bundled for crane lifting. The roll formed sheets will be lifted onto the roof by crane, using a lifting beam for longer lengths outside of the capacity of normal chains and slings. 
The packs of sheets will be stacked ahead of the location required. The bundles will be supported at suitable intervals, to avoid damage to the installed clips. Protection will be placed under the supports, to avoid damage to the vapor barrier. Packs of insulation will be lifted onto the roof area by crane, and placed to allow sequential installation. The insulation will be installed on the roof area in tiers of one pack width ensuring that there are no voids. As the insulation is completed to a tier, the top sheets will be put in position ensuring that the tail line is uniform. As each top sheet is put in position, the fixed point will be put in place, and this will continue throughout the installation. Once a suitable area of top sheets is in place, the sheets will be secured using hand crimpers and the seaming machine. The placing of the insulation and top sheet for each area will continue in this manner until complete. Upon completion of the top sheets, flashings, fillers, drip angles, and closures will be fitted in place as per approved drawings. High Voltage Cable Laying The cable drum is positioned in a drum jack on firm ground. The cable is pulled from the top of the drum. Rollers are placed in the trench. A cable pulling sock is fitted and the cable pulling rope or sling is fixed to the sock. A diesel driven winch is used to pull the cable. Fencing The construction sequence Set outline and level Check for existing underground services Clear and grade ground Excavation for fence post foundations Erection of posts Place in situ concrete around posts Installation of fence wire system Line wire Chain link Barbed wire Razor concertina wire Installation of gates Pour concrete ground beam Accommodation camp A project camp to accommodate 8,000 workers and staff. The camp consists of accommodation blocks, messes, clinic, masjid, laundry, kitchens, money exchange, groceries and clothes shops, gymnasiums, sports facilities for volleyball, basketball, cricket and football, workshops, stores for frozen food, stores for dry and fresh foodstuffs, sewerage treatment plant, fresh water storage tanks, and generators. In this digital age it is possible to make films using a smartphone or everyday camera and editing software. Films are an effective way of preserving and passing on knowledge gained on a job and are most effective in capturing someone's attention and getting ideas, vision, strategy or messages across in an effective and interesting way. Information presented by films is far easier to understand and remember than something written. Check out my YouTube channel for similar films on civil engineering. Please click, like and subscribe.